You have a Legend of Zelda team right there. So deep. Yeah, so this loser semis. Uh, Apollo and Odyssey lo lost to Pink Talk J, who I think is going to play the winner of this. Let me make myself a little bit louder. There we go. And uh, I actually don't know the run that French Tutor had. Let's see. They. Oh my god. Oh, they started in losers. They lost round one. Yeah. Oh, they got DQ'd from winners. I'm assuming from being late. So they have actually haven't lost the game yet, even though they're in loser side. That's pretty interesting. I don't really know what kind of like team, uh, was it, cooperation combinations that you could do with Zelda Link. Because like, I love the idea of like themed teams. So, you know, Link and Zelda teaming together, it sounds so cute. But uh, I don't really know. Let me know if there's any like cool stuff I should be looking out for, you know, if they don't already do it, you know. Odyssey, I'm, uh, he's playing Krom in this match right now, I'm pretty sure, but he usually plays, he did end up picking Fox up again, and, uh, and Greninja. So he's playing, he, I, I think he's like dual maining Fox and Greninja. But, you know, sometimes you just got to pull out the show off your extra chromosome, and then you're there. Uh, I didn't know that Zane, Apollo, whatever, uh, played Mega Man. Um, I knew that he would play, like, a bunch of other characters, like, other than Ice Climbers, but I did not know that Mega Man would be one of them. Anyway. Uh, Green Team's actually doing pretty good. Uh, Team Laws is doing all right. They got an extra stock, and other than that, they basically just have like a full stock lead because all the percents are are even. And now they're even pulling even further ahead. Apollo losing that first, uh, his second stock now, and he's taking some damage. I mean, like, you could say that, uh, like, maybe Krom doesn't fit him, but, like, sometimes you just want to go high octane and hit OD hard, and he ain't coming back there. Okay, goodbye. All right, so game one going to The Legend of Zelda. So they're just getting rid of FD and Lilat right away. And he's just like, hey, man, why are you going to SD like that? You got to you know, you tech that, right? Man, you got to come back. You got to do that jumping tech. If you're under the stage like that, you're not going to do that, and you're not going to come back. That's Apollo's probably just yelling at him like that, you know? All right, so we're going to Kalos. Uh, I really have no idea what to expect. Uh, like, does Mega Man and Krom, do they have wall jumps? I... I, I do any of these characters of all terms? I'm pretty sure Zelda doesn't. Well, that's fine. Fox. It's funny. Uh, my brother Dill like gave me like the the sickest realization that Smash Four kids literally played a game without counter picks, so they don't know what it's like to play a game with counter picks. It's really funny. Yeah, I think Mega Man has. Yeah, Mega Man I think has a wall jump. Anyway, starting a uh, uh, game one, uh, game two, going to Cal uh, Kalos. So I don't, I don't really know what their game plan is going to be. Doubles mad wacky. Uh, let's see. Oh, he switched to Fox. Okay. Hmm. So it's like an FD-like stage. They did get rid of FD and Lilad. So, like, you have like more control of the edge guarding. Yeah. Okay. I can see these characters having uh, better synergy when it comes to edge guarding, taking advantage of like the. Uh, Kalos platform because like, you can just like cover so much space. Yeah, you know what? Okay, all right, I like it. It's coming together, it's beginning to make some sense.
So this is loser semis, by the way. So that means it's, this is just best of three. So the next match will be best of five, though. Mm So, this is honestly not really going well for them at all. <laughs> uh, I haven't really, like, really understood how they're dying so fast. Like, I just think everything that they're just kind of telling me is just getting stuffed in some way, shape, or form. Like, Fox is hella light, and, you know, now that... Zelda has like real buttons. She does hit kind of hard, and like in a double situation, you know, she gets covered pretty all right, you know. And then she sums up her man, and then it's just like a whole other thing. It's like Fox is really good at like weaving around, but like when you have these characters that like create walls, it's like ooh. All right, I think I think the set might be over. Yeah, you see that, like, she's got a great dash attack for, like, a double situation, too. Alright. Nice, nice kill, but, you know. There, there it goes.